Good evening. This evening, I'm going to um, attempt to do a solution to question four of the mock um, 2021 exam. Okay. Now, when I had a look at the exam, um, I saw that they sort of presented this. They've just given us um, the table and the columns but they've not added any entries, so um, I don't know how they expect you to write a SQL code that will create the table structure above if you don't know um, what data types to use for this, so it's very confusing. So instead of using their example, um, I'm going to use this, approve, this new one that I've, um, yeah, that I've opted for and just trying to get it on the screen here there we go so it still uses the car table it's still got the car reg as a primary key the mod code car year and car color and i've just got these um one two three four five six records um yeah so i just want to show you how to to create this table I want to show you how to set this column to a primary key um, and then I want to also go through um, these um, questions over here about uh, are they valid or invalid because um, it's quite easy but yeah just want to show it to you live so that's what I'll be covering in this video so first of all what I need to do is I go to my machine okay and as per all my previous videos, uh, open up the XAMPP control panel. Okay. Once that's open, I click on start. I want to start my Apache and I want to start my MySQL. And I'll wait for both of them to get green and show me some port numbers. And then I click on the admin and it will take me to the PHP my admin, um console okay we are here I'm now going to um, choose my database and um, yeah so I've shown everyone in previous videos how to set up this database as you can see I don't have a table called car and because I haven't um, got anything prepped for this I'm going to create it on the fly okay so what I want to do is I want to go to SQL over here and then I'm going to add the create table um, create like that and I want to create table car okay create car and then um, then I believe we should use open bracket Okay, I see, see that I'm making a mistake here, and I've got to use the special, um, the special one, the special inverted commas here. Okay, so create car, and then open my bracket, and now I'll specify the first column. I'm going to take it sort of from here. You can see there, it's got okay, create table. So let's yeah, create table car and then I've got my first my first column um, so if I have a look on my document here it says car reg so I want to put that uh, I want to say car reg okay and that and then I specify the data type which I'm going to use the same bar chart okay and then uh, what I'm going to do is just count how many how many characters have I got in my um, in my um, thing here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to make it ten because it's got a maximum of ten characters. All right, and then I'm going to choose not null um, so that that makes sure that a value has to be entered. Okay. Then the next column is the um, mod code. So I want to put that in, mod code. Okay, I'm 
also going to use a var char but this time um, I believe Volkswagen is the biggest so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 you can put it at 10 as well um, let me say not, not no okay and the next one is car year car year and also var char make that only four so I could actually uh, just use um, int and then not specify the int because um, or I can specify the int as four and also put it not not no okay and the last year is um, the car color so let's go car Color. Okay. Um, we're going to keep that as var char, and I'm going to make that six. I'm going to make that. I'll make it seven just to be on the safe side. Not no. Okay. And then um, that will be the closing bracket, and that will be there. So if I click on go, yeah, there we go. You see, now I've got a new table called car. But as you as you can see, I haven't created any primary key, but um, at least it's got the car values. So for, for actually inserting the values, I'm just going to go to the SQL statement. I'm going to say insert into, and then as you can see, here's a whole lot of values. So I won't bore you with typing out all these values. I'm going to actually do it and pause the video and I will start it once I've got the values typed out. Okay. Okay. There's all my values typed out and I've ended the last one with the semicolon. All right. So if I click on go, it should add it. Here we go. I now have six rows. So if I go to my car table, I've got six rows, okay? And that was as per the my presentation over here. I've added these records in, okay? So that's showing over there. Now, the as I was saying, the car reg hasn't been assigned the primary key yet. And so I wanted to show you how do we assign a primary key because one of the questions... Um, on the on the mock paper was basically to say um, yeah alter car table add primary key car code and you can see there isn't anything called car code but what they've done is they've also um, swapped this instead of having alter table here it should be alter table car they've gone and said alter car table so that's why this comment is invalid. So I've shown you how to create the structure, um, write the SQL code that will restore the data to its original status. I'm assuming what they're talking about is there's a, a command called rollback and so you just run that um, and it will roll back the command but you can't do a rollback after the changes have already been committed. You have to do them before committing the changes to the database okay so I just wanted to show you and then this insert into is also incorrect because there's um, four columns here and they're only giving us three and there's also a double um, apostrophe over here when it should just be a single one um, so that's invalid this one's invalid the commit is correct and select star from car is correct so I just want to show you the primary key. All right. So we choose our um, SQL over here. And I see they don't have um, really any command there. But what you do is you say here, alter table. Alter table. And you specify the table. And you say car. Okay. Um, like that, yeah. And then we say 
then what we do is we we say um, add uh, put it on the next line over here and we just say add primary key add um, primary key and we're going to specify that we want the um, car reg that's the one that they wanted as the primary key okay and we can even add our command over here commit so that that's there all right so let's go say go it might give me an issue because of this commit no here we go so now um the car if we have a look at the columns you'll see it's now got a primary key car reg so that's the primary key and that was as per um, there's over here PK alright and um, as I was saying is if you have a look at this insert into command here um, let me just try and make it smaller and we go to our SQL and we say insert and as you can see there it says insert into the table then all the columns and then it gives you values and there's four values and so by having a look at this table with its three values it's definitely an invalid command okay um yeah i think that shows everything um, we can obviously show the select star from car and if we run that um, we say go and you should see the results there we go you see showing all the cars so I hope that this video has been helpful, it's shown you a couple of the SQL commands and it's been taken from the mock exam 2021. Thank you for watching, all the best with your exams, um, yeah, enjoy, goodbye.